Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. I'm super excited today because I just got in a brand new black lock cast iron griddle from Lodge. We're going to unbox it, let you guys take a look at it, and we're going to cook some breakfast, so y'all stay tuned. So here's the box that come in. And uh, you've seen the logo there, Black Lock. It's named after the original Lodge cast iron factory that burned to the ground. You can go on their website and see that whole uh, story. Okay, we've got an inner box. All right, let's go ahead and take a peek inside here. It's packaged very nicely. It's just a filler, but it's uh, also got kind of the Black Lock logo there. And that actually around this way for you so the uh, the thing they're saying is this special about this new black lock series is just much lighter weight and it's triple factory seasoned. so they put it through their factory seasoning process three times and I tell you I can definitely tell the difference that makes uh, with the surface here it feels a lot smoother than a standard uh, your standard log cast iron so you know we got that little gooey stuff here holding the, uh, the label in. Let's go. If we peel that up nice and slow, it'll come right up. Yeah, that rubber bandy kind of glue. Yeah, triple season, lightweight. Um, this is, I guess, piece number 77. Uh, I don't know what that really stands for, but it's a 10 by 20 inch um, griddle. Let's pull it out of here. Now, one thing you're going to notice, I'm going to compare this to the old one in a minute, but you know, it's molded in the bottom, black lock number 77, stars on both sides. Um, really, really nice. I guess, you know, they. Uh, this is where they took some of the weight out of the product right here. Instead of molding that, you know, a griddle on the other, or grill on the other side of it, they've they made it thinner and it's substantially lighter. We'll, let's uh, let's pull the old one out over here, and then I'll show you those two side by side. Okay, here's our our, our standard uh, cast iron griddle. You know that's got the grill on the other side. We, if you want to see how we uh, just took this and restored it, it got all rusty on me. It got too hot in the fire, burned the season off of it. But if you want to see how to restore a griddle like this, um, I'm gonna leave you a card right above here. Click on that card; it'll take you to our video on how we did that. Uh, weight wise, I'm telling you. I mean, I don't have a scale here to put them on a scale but I'm saying this is at least a third lighter at least a third if not a half uh, amount li lighter than the other one now the cooking service is just about the same because on uh, this one you really couldn't use anything past this point here anyway you know because it's got it's not really usable space where this is the handles are inside the, the rectangle these are outside now I would be careful you don't drop that thing on a hard surface. This might just break off. But it looks like you're gonna be able to use the entire surface of the griddle. And it's got the little grease tray here too, just like uh, the old one. Took it right out of the box. I'm not gonna do anything to it other than take it inside and rinse it down with just a little bit of Corona Duche cast iron oil. I'm gonna wipe it dry. And I hope Lodge didn't think we were gonna go easy on this because then we're gonna throw it over there on the Sportsman's Grill. Already got that hot. Alright, let's see how it sits on there. Wow, it looks pretty much just kind of to find a sweet spot for it to fit. Things like about right there. I don't know. I'm sitting it up on its legs. Okay. But don't really want to sit very well that way. So let's go ahead and flip our grill. Okay. We watched our video. We did a little bit of modification to this 
this griddle so that we can pick it up with the Dutch oven lifter. And that certainly does come in handy when you're trying to do something like this. All right, now, let's brush that off a little bit. Burning some of my seasoning up. All right, let's try again. That's good. Now we can kind of center it on there. All right, let that warm up a little bit, get some oil on it. Hey, we're gonna make a beautiful omelet. Sausage. Some mushrooms. Just gonna let them start start working and working their way into getting cooked off here on the side. The sportsman's grill is a great way to spread the heat out on this thing. You see all the guys on, uh, you know, barbecue channels now doing stuff on Blackstone grills. They're basically a big ass cast iron griddle with the burners built up underneath them, and the gas burner. Here we're uh, we're kind of emulating a, a Blackstone with the griddle and the Sportsman's grill. If we can use it kind of the same way, you know. I want to try to get this spatula completely flat instead of the slight curve it has in it to make it easier for stuff like this. That sausage was already smoked and so it's not going to take a lot of time. Just want to start to soften those mushrooms up a little bit. Then we're going to see how our eggs are going to go. Now I have done nothing to this. All I've done is, is wash it with uh, cast iron soap. So there's no, I put no seasoning on it at all. So we're going to see how how good it works right out of the box. So I want to make my omelet French style today. So what I'm going to do is kind of spread it out into a square. Sometimes that works better than others. That might have been a little bit too much. Put that down all in my, my tray there, but it looks like it's coming right out. So. All right, let's go ahead and put our ingredients in there. Probably done a better job of that. Now we're coming in with cheese. Which I'm getting all over the place. All right. Now, if you don't know how to make a French style omelet, I'll show you. I'll fold it that way. A little close to the edge right now. Let's see if I can drag it over. And I tore the egg up, but just like that. And um, amazingly, even the cheese is not 
sticking to it. I know this is probably uh, making a terrible sound. Just a tiny bit right in there. Would have been awesome if they made that rim just a little bit longer. Or higher, I mean. Would have kind of held everything in there better. All right, well that worked out great. Got a little bit of, you know, that little bits from the sausage stuck over here a little bit. But as far as this side here, where the eggs went, that worked perfectly. I'm gonna throw some pancakes on there now. Check out, see how non-stick they are. Man, I'm impressed. I said, I've done absolutely nothing to this. Get, losing my blueberry, get out of there. Beautiful. and drop a few more and we're going to drop them even down here on where we had the uh, where we had the sausage they're going to stick anywhere they're going to be there Let's see if we can make them all the same size this time Maybe a little help, but still came right up. You see how nice and evenly the Sportsman Grill heats this griddle, uh, just like it, my other one. It's the same way. The, the fire is even all the way across. If you're laying this on your on your camp stove, you're going to get a hotter at, at either end and a cooler in the middle. But with the Sportsman's Grill, this one layer charcoal system we kind of came up with, uh, it the whole grill is just perfect let's go ahead and get some real butter on there So you know you guys, I always give it to you straight. I'll tell you when something's great. I'll tell you when something just don't hit the mark for me. And today, this Blacklock uh, griddle, awesome. I mean, I it was, you, i seen it for yourself. Um, right out of the factory, I usually tell you, you know, buy most your standard lodge pans, the first thing I always do is season them with, you know, usually with bacon, you know, cook some bacon in them and use that, the bacon drippings to actually season the pan after you're done with that. Uh, this time, really no sense and no, no need to do that. It's already done three times at the factory. So that gives you a big head start on your season. Of course, it's still gonna build up just over time like all of them do. But uh, for right out of the box, that was pretty dang good. So if you like what we're doing, please hit that like button right down there. If you want to subscribe to our channel for more stuff just like this, it's gonna be right over there. For another great backwood video, it's gonna be over there. We'll see you next time.